Hi all, and welcome back to my channel. I've been running Nobara for a few months now, and it has been a really good experience so far. Thanks to Glorious Eggroll and his team for all the hard work. Quick support if needed on the Nobara Discord. I had a request to do a quick introduction to installing Nobara and setting up gaming. Almost everything you will need will already be installed out of the box. There's a few things that you need to do. Let's have a look. Once you boot from the ISO, you need to use the install system shortcut and it will take you through the steps to install Nabara. Here you can set up preferred languages, your time zones, and also your keyboard layouts. Choose the drive partition and style that you want and continue. Set up your user accounts and passwords and root account and also continue here. In the next screen, confirm all of your settings, and then the installation will begin and you just need to be patient. Once it is done, just reboot and ensure to remove the bootable USB so you boot from hard disk. Once rebooted, you'll be greeted by a login screen. Here you can enter your user account as well as choose whether to boot into an X11 or Wayland session. Wayland is currently the default. After a successful login, you will see the Nabara welcome screen. We offer to install encoding packages. Please don't skip this. It may take some time, so just let it finish. Then it is recommended to do an update and sync to pull in all the updates not covered by the install ISO. Once again, just be patient and let it finish. Still on the first steps tab, you can install NVIDIA drivers, additional apps from the software center and web apps. This is a nice feature which was ported over from Linux Mint. On the optional steps tab, you can install proprietary AMD drivers which is needed for OBS, Blender, etc. The open source MISA drivers are installed by default. You can also install drivers for Xbox controllers as well as Proton G, but I'll show you that later. On the look and feel tab, you can install login managers such as GDM and also get themes and icon sets to customize your installation. On the troubleshoot tab, you have links to the various Nabara support pages. On the community tab, you can link to the Discord or Reddit page. I recommend joining the Nabara Discord. It's a really helpful resource with a great community. And lastly, the Contribute tab where you can help out. One game client that's not installed by default is Heroic Launcher. Let's head over to the GitHub and get the latest release. There's an installer for all your needs, but we just need the latest RPM. Once that is downloaded, we can open Terminal and install it. Once installed, I recommend to just open it once and then close it. This ensures that ProtonUp detects your heroic installation correctly. Another app I like is Core Control. We can install it from the repos. And once it is installed, please also refer to my audio videos on it or visit the Core Control page for setup instructions. I'm not going to do this again. I think there's lots of tutorials on how to install core control and how to configure it. Lastly, we need to install Proton GE and you can use Proton up to easily install it for all of your game clients in one place. You can install it for Steam as well as Lutus and Heroic. I normally just install what I need for Steam and Lutus as Heroic detects those versions. You don't have to install duplicates and take up unnecessary space. This brings me to the end of the video. nabara has got lots of gaming stuff already included out of the box. Um, here you can see on their official page some of the kernel patches that's installed to make gaming a little bit better and to make the general experience better. Gamescope is 
installed by default, G overlay is installed by default, Vanguard is installed by default, VK Basalt is installed by default. And there's also in the repos Blender patches, DaVinci Resolved, OBS Studio. As I showed previously, Proton Up is already installed as well. And then there's just some general stuff like RPM Fusion is enabled, Team is installed, Lutris is installed. Something I did have to install was Anti Micro X, it's just to manage my Xbox 360 controller. Maybe it's worthwhile to have a look at that as well if you're using an X360 control. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Cheers.